Okay, today I'm going to show you how we've transformed this chair into the chairs in the front there. It looks like a big project, but you can break it down into little stages, and it's really simple. Um, so these are quite sturdy chairs that we were given a long time ago, and they've moved house us a few times, but we've never really uh, liked them as they were. So all you have to do is push that out first, and pop that to one side. This one, I've already sanded down with a really sort of coarse sandpaper, and I've just done that by hand. I didn't need any machinery. If you wanted to get into the little tiny grooves, you can use special tools, or you can just use the edge of the sandpaper and kind of wiggle it around. But you can see we've got some nice smooth legs there. Okay, so all we've done is we've bought two tins of contrasting paint colours. So we've got the lime green and the violet. Um, and this is what it looks like after one coat of the violet. So we haven't tried to cover it completely because if you go thick with it, you'll get those drip marks, which might look quite nice on the finished product for a contrasting colour. But what we've decided to do is do it in two layers, building it up. So don't be worried if you've only got a little bit on your paintbrush to begin with. Go over it and then with some very fine sandpaper, sand it down again and you'll create this smooth surface that we've got here ready to be painted again. And two coats looks like that in front. Um, and it really is as simple as that. So um, really, it's a very basic um, kit that you require. You need a screwdriver to actually prise open the tins, um, flathead. Um, you need a couple of brushes. These are all water-based, so you just wash them off in the water. You have to ensure that you stir them quite well, so I've used an old um, chopstick. Um, and make sure that the window's open so that you've got a ventilated area. When we sanded them down, we did it outside so that you could actually um, not get your house covered in dust. But then when we painted them, we put them inside so that they don't get any sort of little bits of leaves stuck on them or anything like that. But I hope you can see it. it's a really easy craft to do. Let me just pop some on now for you to have a look at. It's as simple as that. Um, anyone can do it really because you don't have to be neat at this stage. Um, and at no stage do you have to really be neat. So everyone can kind of get involved and it's something that the kids might want to do. As long as you're in a well ventilated area um, and they're supervised, you can pick your colours and make your own unique furniture to have in your home. And I think some people like this effect where it is only a very dry brush that they're using. So you can keep it just like that if you wanted that to be a finished product or the bolder colour. Now let me just show you with the lime green. What I've actually done afterwards is I've gone over it again um, with the sandpaper to kind of make that rustic look. I'm not sure if I like it but now I've done it I'm going to have to do it to both of them um, <laughs> and I've done it a little bit there as well sort of to, to show a bit of wear and tear but it's up to you and I think in the next video we might reupholster as well but if you'd like to find out more please do subscribe to the YouTube channel or subscribe to our website um, theminismallholder.com but thank you for watching.